Hello, we're Moss Charmley. And in this video, we're going to talk about our Huion tablets after six months. How we feel about them, good and bad, everything from their overall performance, build quality, must have accessories, even temperature, smell, and taste. Just kidding about the taste. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, let's get this out of the way. This video is not sponsored in any way. All products and software we use is ours and purchased with our own money. These are our honest, personal opinions about what we use. Nothing more and nothing less. Thank you. If you would like to support us, please like and subscribe. Thanks, it's helpful. <laughs> yeah. First of all, these are outstanding products and we are using them with our Mac M1 computers. We have an M1 Mac Mini and an M1 MacBook Air. Yep. We use Clip Studio Paint, the Affinity Trinity of products. Oh yes, <laughs> Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, and Affinity Publisher. Fully optimized for M1. But we use a Blender, the new one that's optimized for 3D and grease pencil. Uh, we are starting to get you know into DaVinci Resolve for editing, but we edit our movies on iMovie because it is easier for us right now. We don't use Photoshop for any of the. Uh, you know any of the Adobe Creative Suite so we really can't comment on their performance at all yeah we don't really know <laughs> Yeah, we don't really know about it so. <laughs> sorry okay. about that yeah so now on to the Huion Canvas Pro 24 4k it is the only screen we use because of the M1 monitor limitations we have iPads and use them for referencing images sometimes with that in mind um, let's talk about the screen uh, glare resistant, laminated, big working area, great brightness, vibrant colors, and contrast. Honestly, things you would expect to have on a drawing display for this price. And we don't even use the monitor at full brightness due to eye strain from working on them for long hours at a time. It gets much brighter than we really would want it to, in all honesty. But just know that it is plus ultra bright if it needs to be. The glare is not a problem either. In our studio, we have windows all around us and have had no problems with glare. In fact, our LG Ultra Sharp monitor has more noticeable glare than the Huion. Totally. It's weird. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It does. It does. Yeah. So, um, there's no one noticeable thing with the screen. Out of the box, yeah. Yeah, that, this, yeah, you're right. It was just out of the box. The color was too saturated and a little too contrasty, but with the new setting menu, it's super easy to correct. You have to use the pen to adjust it. So after a little bit of patience, we got it. The frustration was only because the pen is so sensitive and it was tricky to get it in and out, you know, in that Goldilocks configuration. So just right. Maybe that's a con because if you could use the arrow key to adjust the menu, it would be great. It would if you could just move it up and down. Just yeah, like, just you know, a little, just click, little click, bit click, more. Click, 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 click. It'd be great. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So well, all in all, after adjustment, it looked great. For sure, for sure. Okay. Uh, the texture of the screen slash glass is very interesting. Um, if you think about the texture of a drawing screen is relative to the pen you're drawing with it. So it is more how the pen feels rubbing or gliding on the glass. They work together to complete the one experience. To be honest, after a week of working with them, the pen tip really felt like a 2B pencil on cold pressed vellum paper. The stylus in the beginning with its hard plastic tip was so scrapey feeling. We took a super fine sandpaper, I think it was over 9,000 grit. It wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> and, and, you know, and it gave it a little sanding, not too much at all. And, and then after that, just sort of rubbed it and finished it off with some um, watercolor paper, you know, and gave it a try. Um, it worked out great. Yes. Uh, <laughs> honestly, it was like warm butter on brioche, I'll tell you. <laughs> I say that only because of how different it is from using an iPad, right? Yeah. And and the um, the uh, iPencil too we have, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, right? I prefer the feel of the Huion a great deal more. You know, now when I go back to the iPad, it feels odd, huh? Like it's strange. Yeah. Less it, natural in a way. There's a disconnect that we both kind yeah. of agree and feel yeah. that when we work on the the iPad with um, that, the pencils, yeah. both 
different kinds. The the newer one is better. Yeah, it is. It much is. better, but yeah. there's a sort of a disconnect, and it, it doesn't work at all in the same way that the Huyan feels for us. It's a really strange and unique experience. But yeah. as an artist, you'd get how that connection actually <laughs> is, you know, a huge part of the experience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's more like a crayon. The, the, I would ex- right, yeah. explain it like... It, yeah. it, Working on the iPad, the the pencil is more kind of like a big kid's crayon. Yeah, like when you're in like kindergarten <laughs> yeah. or first grade, learning how to spell in those big giant. Yeah, like, those are cool. The, you know, Gajira pencil, <laughs> and you're like, sorry. <laughs> Don't be, they're so cool. Yeah, they're, they are. They're cool, mm-hmm. and um, the tree branch. They're great. <laughs> huge, yeah. and it's and the tip wears out mm-hmm. so much. Like I on the iPad. On the iPad, oh, I've, yeah. I've, I've, we've worn out so many tips. We've, we've bought multiple packs. Yeah. of tips and with um, a textured screen protector on the iPad yeah it, it so, wears yeah. out mm-hmm. and so that that's a kind of a downside on that yeah on the iPad on the iPad but on yeah. the Huion, I haven't even gone through my first tip at all me neither and I tried the felt ones out and they're really good too so but I prefer this one when after we sanded it down yeah you know? so yeah it kind of worked out yeah I agree so. with that so the Huion surface and stylus are our preferred tools for drawing and painting mm-hmm. So the stylus has a good weight and girth to work for, you know, long hours. So the screen doesn't really get hot at all. So it, it is actually possible to work until your heart's content. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the metal backing of the screen, I'm sure, has a lot to do with um, diffusing the heat. So it looks and feels superb. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, now let's talk about performance. This is what it has. <laughs> okay, deep breath. <laughs> mm-hmm. 10 millisecond response time, laminated screen for no parallax, uh, 1200 to 1 contrast ratio, 140% sRGB, so pretty color accurate, um, 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity, 60 degree tilt support, works on Windows, uh, Linux now, yeah. um, Mac OS 10.12 and later, so that's Mac OS Sierra and later. And you can be artistically expressive with it. What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> so the pen is very accurate. Many people have commented that it loses its accuracy the closer you get to the edge of the screen. Um, there, there was a little in the beginning, but after calibrating it while keeping in mind line of sight, it works great. So if you're left-handed or right-handed, the calibration of the pen, ta- um, pen to tablet will be different because the perspective is different for each user. So the accuracy, the accuracy is super spot on. So just, you know, make sure you do the calibration in the beginning and you'll be great. Yeah, in the drivers, it's quite easy just to do it and pop it into exactly where you want it to be. Yeah. And sometimes you might have to do it more than once to really get it, you know? Yeah, Because the first time you're kind of like, am I doing it right? And then you're like, oh, it's all over. And then you're like, oh, no, it's not. (laughs) Just go back and redo it and it'll totally be fine. One thing I wanted to add about the pen, yeah. the um, Huion uh, stylus, you know, um, uh, there's a lot of people who talk about its weight, you know, which I found was interesting because I was like, is there really a, 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 a deal about that? Being, is it light? Is it heavy? Like, what is it really like? Um, we actually, I mean, I, we use um, for our actual ballpoint pens and, you know, practical, you know, actually real non digital artwork, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, Bic. Um, RSVP yeah. uh, uh, ballpoint pens in black. It's kind of like, you know, if you've seen them or used them, you know they're, they're really awesome. Um, that pen is heavier than the stylus of the Huyang. S- oh, sorry. No, excuse me. It's the opposite. Dyslexic moment. Um, totally <laughs> you're opposite. good. You're good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> the the Huyang stylus is heavier than the Bic. So the Bic is lighter, just to correct myself. So just want to let you know. So it's interesting. So people were like, oh, it feels too light. It's actually you know heavier than the big ballpoint pen. and and the the um, apple pen is heavier than both of them <laughs> oh for sure for sure you know apple in, pencil, in a weird yeah. way yeah in a weird way yeah like you have to get used to it because it's kind of like back heavy yeah the apple pencil so it's, it's, a, little, like, it's a, a little awkward yeah it doesn't feel like it's you know balanced in the right way so it's yeah. not bad just different <laughs> it's different it's different that's exactly it and that's okay you know uh, oh, uh, let's let's talk about the lag because that's a big performance issue. Yeah, um, we have found in all of the programs we use, Affinity Photo, you know, and Clip Studio Paint, that there is no lag. Um, that is noticeable to us, really. Yeah. You know, it's 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 kind of like you start out and you're like, ooh, what's happening? And then you realize, no, there really is no lag. How is this happening? 
Well, with Clip Studio, if the brushes are giant, over like 300 or over 400 pixels um, on a 5,000 by 6,000, you know, pixel canvas at 600 PPI, there was lag. But that was and is an unrealistic use scenario. When you increase the stabilization for a brush in Clip Studio or any other program, it slows down. But it is meant to. The program is doing so many computational corrections for your line that's, you know, that going fast with it is also an unrealistic use scenario. When you, when in reality, deleting and redrawing your line yeah. um, or brush stroke to get it just right, you know, that just right line, you know, just the right, you know, swoop or whatever, you know, you know, being slow is more productive. And in the end, when you dial in that stabilization for your pen, you really never feel a lag. So all in all, it's super responsive and a great experience. If you completely take the um, stabilization off of any pen, there is no lag. Oh, at no, all none at all. I, it's like I, I don't even have that. you know stabilization on many of my pencils and pens. Same brushes, here. Really, it, you know? it's, I, I don't either, and it, and it works super fast. Mm -hmm. it's, it's incredible, to be honest, that it has that responsiveness. I agree. Cl Cliff Studio Paint is yeah. my favorite yeah. out of all of them. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. So, yeah. One last thing. We feel that there are some must-have accessories for the Huon Canvas Pro 24 4K. Mm -hmm. So the first thing <laughs> is a monitor arm. We have two tablets and two different monitor arms. Mm -hmm. One is the Ergotron LX single monitor arm Visa desk mount at 190 US dollars. The other is the Amazon Basics single monitor stand lift engine arm mount at 110 US dollars. We both recommend, you know, just get the Amazon one because they are unbelievably the same thing. Mm. There may be a little differences in maybe the chemical makeup or, of some alloy or, or whatever, but they are the same. <laughs> they, they do the same thing, they act the same, they even look exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So an, an arm will make your experience so different. Um, if you want, you know, if you want to stand, you can. You know, if you want to stand up, you can draw with it, um, with your tablet. If you want to move it out of the way, you can. There's your screen. It's just, it, it's amazing. So if you, you know, you want, if you want to do a, hey, look at this, you can turn, <laughs> you can turn it to, you know, the side and. Definitely, we do that every day. Yeah, show Ten it. times a day. <laughs> we do. Hey, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. So the tablet does have legs that pop out of the back. So um, for when you just want to put it on the table flat, and they're very sturdy because the thing is sturdy. Mm. <laughs> but it felt very uncomfortable with such a you know, big screen like that. So we really recommend getting an arm. The Amazon arm, not sponsored by the way. Not at all. <laughs> not sponsored, it's just really good and it's and it's, it saves you money. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and yeah, it works in, in great. Like, in, in, yeah, in it the saves you run. money in like masseuse fees and chiropractic fees or whatever. Get the arm because yeah, it actually is very ergonomic, in other words. Yeah, it's, it's neat because I, yeah. I never stand when I draw and now I do because I have that option. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's a great option. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And it's totally strong and sturdy. So yeah. it's amazing. You're like, this is a heavy tablet. Weird. <laughs> right? That was the one thing I was really afraid of that mm -hmm. it would somehow just either clip off the thing yeah. just some by chance I, yeah. I don't know how I was, I was worried Crazy. about that yeah. <laughs> oh uh, uh, the next thing is the Huyan you know the next thing we want you to we really recommend um, is the Huyan full featured USB-C to USB-C cable that is a little over six and a half feet Oh, with zip ties, you definitely need to get some zip ties, a bunch of zip ties. Yeah. Okay, the USB-C cable it comes with is way too short. It's like barely even three feet, and it really doesn't work well at all, you know, for distance from your computer to the port, you know. And yeah. when you connect it to the arm, you definitely need that cable to be longer. Also, the power supply cable is too short. Uh, but don't fret, you can zip tie it to the power, you can zip tie that power brick you know, to the arm without a hitch. And it works great. There's no fatigue on the arm at all, you know? So it's really awesome. Yes, so also just one little accessory, oh, yeah. just one little add, one little accessory that is fantastic. And this really only applies if you use Clip Studio Paint. 
um, is the Clip Studio Paint Tab Mate. We did do a previous review on it, but it really makes using Clip Studio Paint a lot easier. Totally. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, right. It came with that little the little keypad dial. Yes, you know? the key and dial. I don't even key dial. We don't even whatever. use it. We didn't even know the name of it. We don't even use it that. <laughs> we I mean, don't. It's just, yeah. Sorry, but. It really wasn't usable, sadly. It yeah. was a nice little kind of like, oh, they gave us this. But it really was, we'd rather have a longer cable or more, you know, felt tip nibs or even an extra pen would be better. Yeah, so, or yeah. a tab mate. The, the tab oh, mate, if it could yeah. work with other programs. Oh, that would be cool. That but, would be, but, yeah, you know, but you know. But with the tablet, it doesn't come. You know, yeah, yeah so, that's yeah, true. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, you know, we, <laughs> all in all, we, we love these tablets, you know. But there's one con. The resolution we don't talk about this but this is an actual con it is a 4k screen but at its native res it is not usable for us so we had to step it down to 2k res which is half of its resolution so it's not the native resolution of the screen this is a predicament only for Macs because they do do not do UI scaling for all monitors Max output a video signal at four, 5K, okay? So they max do a video output at 5K. Just want to repeat. And then they use the GPU to downscale it to 2K, right? Because that's half of 5K. Quite literally, too much. <laughs> I mean, it's weird. Then, so that's why the UI looks better when it's at 2K, because it's usable. The problem with that is, it will suck up some of that precious RAM to accomplish that 2K scaling, you know? You know, your performance will take a hit for it. Other than that, Windows will not have that problem. It's totally usable in 4K on Windows. So yeah. if you have Windows, no worries. Yeah, even though we use it at 2K, mm -hmm. it's still really good and oh, I, yeah. I just, I, oh, I just still again, highly I love recommend it. for sure, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's it's amazing, you know? It really is really beautiful, so. Mm. Well, that's it. You know, we hope this gives you a little bit more insight into this tablet. We want everyone to know we highly recommend this for any digital artist. Yeah. We love them and would buy them again. You know, invest in yourself. Yeah. Because it is an investment. Yes. And, and if there's anything wrong with any, any product you get that, you know. Return good, it. Yeah, just return it yeah. and get yourself one that does work. Get something you deserve. Yeah, because, you know. You're right with that. Yeah. That's yeah. that's exactly it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Moss, Moss Charmly, Charmly out. out. Seriously, get the tablet. It's cheaper than a year of painting supplies. The good art supplies, like Graham paints and Graham paints, oh. and some Raphael brushes, and some serious, like you know, no ones are doing really good paints. <laughs> Seriously, it's cheaper. Believe it. <laughs> <laughs>